Hello, welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at September 7, 2024, Whisper Drone by Clover. Clover's one of our size here at Gas HQ for mine. My name is Bill Murphy. It is my pleasure, nay, my honor, to be solving this today. Um, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, we create, set, and solve uh, genuinely approachable Sudoku for you every day. And you can find a link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You'll also find hat times out. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, that's basically it. You know, uh, let's get into it. So, um, this is Whisper Drones by Clover. So, um, what you need to know is the uh, oh, normal Sudoku rules. That's probably a really good place to start. Now, uh, each box, each row, each column need to contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, these are German whisper lines. So along uh, each thin green line, uh, adjacent digits need to have a difference of five or more. Um, but also that palindromes. Oh, so as an example, this one might be like set. It might be like eight and three and again. Digits can repeat. Um, but yeah, that's that's very useful information to know. Um, but also, speaking of digits repeating, they need to repeat, because these lines are also palindromes. So if I was ignoring uh, the German whispers part for a second, this could be 9, 8, 8, 9. Read the same backwards and forwards. Um, that's all you need to know to solve the puzzle. Um, do give it a go before I solve it, but you... Uh, if you want to watch me for some hints, let's go. So, in a German Whispers puzzle, some digits are very restricted. Four must always next be next to because that's the only way you can have a different difference of five between these ones. Uh, and we know that these two digits need to be the same, and they need to have a difference of greater than of five or greater. So it can't be. 8765, because that would all be less than. But these two cells see 1 and 2 and 3, because the propellant do those digits the same. This must be. Let's have a look down here. Now, this 6 needs to have a difference of 5, so the only way that can work within Sudoku is that must be a 1. Now, uh, what's this? It could be 7, 8, or 9, uh, but we'll come back. This 3 needs to have a difference. Five, so it must be either eight or nine. This nine here tells us that eight. Now, uh, what's this digit? Well, it has to be a difference of five, and it sees a two here. Oh, not quite. So we know it's got to be either a one or. Now, this two up here needs to see a six or a seven. Uh, oh, sorry, hang on. It needs to see a seven, eight, or a nine because that's how you get a difference of five. Nine here, eight here, both both of them see this cell. So this has to be set seven. And now what's this? It has to be either one or two, because that's how you get the difference of five, but we already have a two in the box, so these both must be one. Meaning we can take the ones out of here. Um, and now we can, can't quite come back to that line. That's okay. Um, but let's let's look at this one. So this two needs to have a difference of five, so it's either seven, eight, or nine. Can't be seven, can't be eight, because they both see this cell down here. So these must both be nine. Over here, uh, it still could be seven or eight. That's okay. Um, all right, let's do some Sudoku while we're doing Sudoku. Uh, one must go there in the center box. Uh, Two must go in the middle because we have a two, a row four, and row six. Six has to come up. And seven means five and then seven. Uh, in column four, we need to place two, eight, and nine. Two and nine both see this cell, which makes that an eight. This is a two, nine pair. Uh, four, oh, seven. We have to place four, five, seven, and eight. We have a seven and here, meaning this has to be a four and a five. We're going to use that information in a second. Uh, meaning this has to be seven and eight. 
eight here it tells us which way around that goes. Uh, the palindrome will fix up a bunch of those things for us. Nine over here puts a nine there, and this is a five. And this is then three or six. Um, so nine here means that this needs to have a different five. So that's a three and a three, six. Five can never go on a German line because if it did, uh, it would need to have a zero or a 10 in the next cell. And that's not what this puzzle is doing. So this must be four. Difference of five means that's a nine and a two, and that's four. That's all the variant logic. Let's just keep doing some good old fashioned stuff. All right. Um, I said that and then immediately ran out of digits to immediately. Um, let's see if I can finish off my ones. Nope. Uh, four here uh, means that must be a four and a six. Um, three here. Two, five, and eighth place. I can't quite do that just yet. Um, but I'm my two. Cannot, oh, I can almost. Who goes there? Um, four down here. Uh, one, five, and six left the place. I can put a one here. Uh, still not quite done. All right. How about my three? So three goes there. Three goes there. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a five nine pair. Uh, four seen by that cell, so that's a six and that's a five. Uh, that's a four, six and eight. Um, oh, I can't quite do that box. Um, five and nine left to place down here. Nine here goes five and nine. Does this work? Lovely, lovely, you love it. Here. Uh, that's a one and a seven, six and a five. We have a six up here. Uh, six, five. Still can't do this. Ridiculous. Um, one and a seven. I mean, no, full credit to Clover. Um, I do like a good gas puzzle where once you've solved all the variant logic, that Sudoku's or two to it. Uh, six. Uh, that's a nine, so nine has to go down there, uh, making that an eight. Eight. Now we're done. Cool. So this is been this has been whispered drones by Clover. Um, I'm still Bill Murphy. Last time I checked, and wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time. This.